Hi, this is Karen and this is another Flips and Folds on Sunday. This is the card we're making today and it opens like this. Yes, I'm using some old papers. I have tons of this laying around so I thought I would use it. So um, this is another fun fold card that I'm making. Uh, very easy to make. The only difficult part is actually getting the paper cut. Um, the best thing to use is a craft knife and a steel ruler on a cutting board um, because you will find your paper trimmer just isn't long enough because what you use is a full A4 piece of paper that you trim or that I trimmed a quarter of an inch off this way and made this 11 inches long that way. Made it so that um, everybody can make it the, in the States or in Australia and England. Anyway, I'll pop that to the side. So this is your card blank. It measures on this way, across this way, it measures 8 inches. Across this way, it's 11 and a half. But as you can see, because of the diagonal cut, you're not going to be able to fit it into your paper trimmer. And even if you fold the card over, you're still not going to be able to do it properly. You can fold it there, but then you're going to have this extra piece here. So it doesn't work out. The best way to do it is get your steel ruler and line the centre up. You can do the scoring first, then you line the centre up with the um, corner and trim it that way. Turn it round line up your ruler with that cut there and just carry it on and that's how you get that fold now you have to do the same with your patterned paper your DSP. So all you need to do is cut your um, ten and a half inch by seven and a half inch piece of paper into quarters and then just cut them diagonally like that to give you the pieces that you need. Okay, let's get on with the card. I have the white piece for inside. Now, I've also ahead of time to save time on the, on the video. Actually, I'll ask you guys now if you would prefer me to do to demonstrate absolutely every step in these videos leave a comment below if you prefer me to cut out some of the basic things that you will have seen over and over in other videos both mine and other demos um, and so you don't mind me skipping ahead also let me know and we'll see how we go now I have my piece of my vellum butterfly cut out and my gold foil butterfly cut out I also have a berry burst butterfly cut out and this was cut out of scrap material uh, sc scrap paper for the sole reason that I want as you can see inside here I actually sponged a silhouette of the butterfly on the inside of the card so I'm going to do the same thing again I have my sponge and the colour that I used is powder pink. I think. Did I? Or was it? No, it was powder pink. So what I'm going to do is hold the butterfly and just stamp over it. Like so. I'm just doing a pounding method. Like that. And you'll actually see the marks of the pounding there. There's no drag marks. There's no blending circle marks. It's just a pounding. And it'll give you a really nice silhouette of the butterfly, as you can see. I'm going to keep that because once the ink's dried on it, it's fine to use again and again and again. So I'm going to actually keep that in the pocket with my dies 
and as you can see that gives a really nice effect in the corner there now I'm going to bring in my front piece and do the same again but I'm not going to have the um, ink open I'm just going to pound it with the leftovers from the ink it will still give you a small butterfly silhouette on the side there and that is where we're going to put our butterfly so there's a bit of the pink coming out now with the front piece just to soften the edge a bit I gave it um, a sponging around the edges okay so that's that bit done now while I've got my butterfly right in front of me I'm going to put a trace of wet glue straight down the centre of the gold butterfly and then I'm going to bring the vellum butterfly in and pop that straight on top sit them aside and just put um, some weight on it okay I'm going to bring in this piece and this is where our sentiments are going to be so I will bring in the first one and this goes followed by many days and years of the same now I've got to find that it is here somewhere okay I'm once again filming half a dozen videos at once so <laughs> I have stuff scattered everywhere okay now I need where's my mango no not mango melon mambo which is what I will stamp the inside on with sorry okay so that goes there now this can go straight to the inside if I can find my fuse I'm quickly running out of this stuff so I'm being very sparing with what I have left okay so that's on the inside ready to be written on so we come to the outside and we will stick our pieces on you could use wet glue for this if you want to because this is actually quite thick cardstock so and because of the um, the melon mambo cardstock that I'm using as the base it's a lot thicker than whisper white so it won't actually show through with the glue so what I might do is use the wet glue and I'm only putting a skerrick on just enough to attach this you don't need globs and globs of it and actually if you put globs and globs on it you'll find that it'll all come smearing out the sides okay so we'll pop that piece on and then just make sure we've got it all lined up like so bring in my bone folder which will smear out the glue that is underneath okay now we're going to put our butterfly there so the sentiment has to be up in the top left hand corner I think it is so we'll just pop that there hold it down for a second there we go that's all the stamping done now I'm just going to affix our whisper white piece to our gold foil now why is this too big unfortunately I've cut the gold 
a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch too small. However, when our butterfly goes on, you won't notice. Oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, a little bit of wet glue just here where the butterfly's body is going to sit. We bring our butterfly in and we match up the butterfly body with the silhouette that we've already sponged on. Hold it there for a moment so that it's well and truly stuck. And then, with the vellum, it doesn't bend as easily as cardstock does around my finger. So I'm actually going to burnish it into a shape with the bone folder, but with the gold foil, all you need to do is curl it around your finger and it curls really nicely. Okay, so we will then bring in Now I had them here a moment ago. Bear with me a moment. Okay, back again. I found them. My little sparkles. So I'm going to put two rhinestones for the body and then three smaller rhinestones for the tail like so give these another curl just to make sure that they are going to sit up now we needed one more smaller rhinestone just in the corner here another one there and another one there so that it looks like they're holding it down now to make sure that you get this placed correctly and square I'm measuring the point of this with this side uh, with the top edge can you see where I'm pointing just here on the edge and then this bottom one should actually be meeting this piece of D DSP on this side now while you've got it sitting in place because now it's about equal from both edges there and both edges there I'm going to come in with my dimensionals pick one up and I know that one's got to go there line them up again like so another dimensional and we need one about there line that up again and the last one will go about there just above that other one and just there to hold it in place okay so we'll take the backings off the last one doesn't want to come there we go make sure I've got that off yes bring this back in and then line up your corners again and just give it a press down okay and that's the card finished I've just noticed though with this one I actually brought the butterfly up further so realistically that should be up probably another half an inch but that's the card we started off with and this is the one that I've put together in front of you today I hope you love this card as much as I do and you'll give it a go I reckon it looks really, really pretty. I mean, look at the dimension. I love anything with butterflies, you know that. 
and I just think this card is absolutely gorgeous so you just fiddle around with the um, wings a bit and it gives it a real feeling of movement that one's gone flat because it's been in my preparation packet for a couple of days but you just have to flick them up and there you go it's ready to take flight again how's that absolutely stunning okay that's enough waffling from me today i will see you again on thursday there might or there might not be an off the cuff during the week if not i'll see you on thursday and then of course i'm back again next week with another flips and folds until then i'll see you later bye bye